guys out here. Um, I really don't have anything to say other than thanks for being awesome supporters. I think you're going to be really energized by what you're about to see. So really, without further ado, the person who's really going to show you what is the Mr. Elon Musk. <laughs> All right. Okay, welcome everyone to the, the test of the event. Uh, as, you know, there's been a lot of uh, speculation as to what uh, the, you know the D stands for. <laughs> yes. Well, you'll notice my pants have Velcro seams. <laughs> Mixed appeal. Um, and uh, there's also a, a great deal of speculation as to uh, you know, what the something else was. And I, I learned a lot, um, <laughs> it, including things that I didn't think were physically possible. Uh, so uh, we, let, let, let's go to the, the first D. As, as you probably learned by the internet, since it's impossible to keep anything private these days, um, the, the, the D stands for dual motor. So let's, let's bring up the side. So there you can see you've got uh, a motor in the front and a motor in the back. Uh, hence the, the dual nature of it. Uh, but you know uh, what would be greater than, than sort of seeing a, a slide is to, to show you the, the actual car. So let's release the Titan. <laughs> The chassis and the, the, the drivetrain of the dual motor Model S. Obviously, got uh, the, the front drive unit, the rear drive unit, and the, the, the thing that makes this uh, unique and special and sort of better than uh, all-wheel drive in the past is because you can dynamically shift the power from front to rear at the millisecond level. So you can very quickly adjust torque uh, more than is is possible really with a, a mechanically linked system. So all all-wheel drive systems out there are just mechanically linked with the with shaft. So it's, it's like the equivalent of being sort of analog, uh, whereas this is, this is a, a digital system. So it, 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 with a system like this, it's, it's uh, inherently able to achieve better road holding than a mechanically linked system that's just there with, with a, a single engine. And it, we're able to actually improve almost everything about the car, which is, it's a rare case that you're able to do something like that. Uh, the, the, so the, the, the acceleration gets a little faster, the top speed is higher, the, uh, <laughs> uh, and, and uh, something that's, 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 I think, uh, that is for the first time ever, the, the range, the efficiency actually increases. As you, as you probably know, with other all -wheel, with, with all all-wheel drive systems out there, um, the, 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 you get less mileage, it's less efficient to have, uh, to have an all-wheel drive system. But in the case of the Model S, because we're able to have two drive units where we can shift the power from, from front to rear and, and constantly be at the optimal efficiency point for, for each motor, uh, we, we're actually able to overcome the penalty of the increased mass of the motor. So any, any given motor engine has a power versus efficiency curve, and the default behavior of the car will be, the first priority of course will be traction control, road holding, 
Um, and then the, the second will be efficiency, and then as soon as you punch the accelerator, it'll just go to max power. And efficiency, obviously, is less of a concern in that spot. <laughs> But, the, but this is this. Yeah, literally everything improves about the car with dual motor. Uh, there's there's no there's no sort of technical drawback in this case. Uh, so, and, and we've also in, in the in the highest power version of P85D, we've actually retained the larger rear motor and added and added the medium sized motor to the front, which basically gives the, the car about uh, half again as much power. Because the P85 starter is pretty good. Uh, you know, probably a bunch of you I have, love it. have those cars, uh, but, but this this car is is nuts. It's like it's like taking off from a carrier deck. It's just bananas. Um, you know, it's like ha having your own personal roller coaster. You can just use it any time. Right? So that uh, I mean, it's it's really mind blowing. But the, the target that we had for performance was to try to meet uh, one of the greatest. The, the, the acceleration of one of the greatest supercars of all time, which is the McLaren F1. And so we we're able to actually achieve a, a 3.2 seconds, 0 to 60. <laughs> yeah, it's mad. <laughs> in fact, just, just you know, we're, we're going to have a, an option in, in the option selection. Um, you, you'll be able to choose three settings, which is normal, sport, and insane. <laughs> I'll actually say insane. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> uh, so that, that's um, it's, it's pretty exciting. We're really, really proud of uh, what, what uh, our engineering team has been able to accomplish here. It took a, a lot of effort, and I think we've, we've got uh, a technical solution we're, we're, we can be really, really proud of. And it's also one that will continue to improve over time. So as we you know, we'll, we'll roll out the initial uh, cars with dual motor, but then we'll um, we'll keep updating the, the software and firmware and improving, for instance, the, the torque vectoring and the, the, the road holding under various circumstances. So it'll it, it'll keep improving by nuances over time. Yeah. All right. So let's move to the next. Let's do something else.